We bought the stuff that we need. We got breakfast. snacks. We just we just finished breakfast, and now we're just sort of chilling, waiting for my yeah. the, the, gate. the gates to open, and also for the rest of my family, which who is, are still waiting. Are still they are still waiting. They're I here. Hope, well, they're here, but like they just haven't done the check-in yet. So one or, one word of advice is that when you come into the airport, always make sure. Like you shop around first. So if you're like if you're going in and you're trying to buy, and buy say for stuff. instance toiletries or you want to buy water, or don't go to the first room. shop or don't go yeah. to the second. If you come in early, shop around a few stores first and check out the prices. And then go back to, to get the, the one that has the cheapest. The one and that suits you the best, the good then price. go to go to that. So that's my advice. Definitely do that. I think that's a good tip because you're going on holiday, and holiday anyways is expensive, so you might as well use your brain. Use your money, basically. Exactly. Right? What's um, the other tip as well? Tip? Um, come early. Come early, yeah. I think... Prepare yourself. Like, make sure that you've got all your documents. Mm -hmm. Pre-check, do them all, the check-in and the cards. And don't do all the stuff after, because then when you come to the day, you might be late for your flight and you might need to like the last minute and you can't enjoy the whole journey and it's not just about uh, the holiday and like uh, the play and also doing all of this is the fun part so and I the other thing that. is when you when you plan plan and remember that wherever you're going you're most likely going to get the normal stuff that you can get in your country anyway so don't think you need to pack your exactly. whole home with you exactly. like there are things you can buy from you but so, after Destination like exactly. Here. So it's my cousin's birthday on 18th, right? Um, and we want to surprise him with like a little cake, maybe, and all that stuff. So we thought, well, we're going away, so you know, we don't need to worry about it. They'll have that sort of stuff in the country, which I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say. Um, so like you don't need to stress about like bringing floats or like all that stuff because you can get so them right, exactly. if you need from. goggles you can just get them there if you need floats you can get them there if you need a dress like a small top or something get it there like it doesn't really matter you know and also pack for the weather so oh yes so just because it might be hot it might be cold where if you're going or the temperature might change so. exactly so we made a big mistake and we didn't pack we've got, we've got to take we've got to take jumpers but it's okay it's actually been quite mild yeah so. it wasn't i think as soon as you step out it's a bit breezy but then because you're walking around it's and manageable. stuff it's just manageable and then it's gotten warm in here lucky i thought it was gonna be cold and the other thing that I think is really good, especially if you've got children and you're travelling early in the morning, I think it's wise if you check in at the hotel near the airport because that means that your kids and you can do more sleeping mm -hmm. rather than waking up an extra two hours mm -hmm. if you were to be from home. That is a good that is a good tip. And then you can relax at home more because it's only cost a road. Exactly. Anyway, I'll see you later. And I've actually got a really cool view. I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, we get to see the planes. 